You may remember a few years ago, there was these studies that linked high fluoride exposure to lower IQ in kids. That obviously got a lot of attention. But there was an important caveat. The fluoride exposure in those studies was roughly two times what we typically see here in the United States. So, new studies set out to investigate the impact of fluoride exposure at levels typically found in your faucet. And this new study tracked nearly 27,000 people in the U.S. starting in 1980, followed them through 2021, so more than 40 years, and throughout that time, they were tested on things like reading and math and memory and attention. And they found in students who lived in communities with typical levels of fluoride actually outperformed those who didn't have fluoride at all. And that importantly, over the decades, fluoride exposure did not contribute to cognitive decline. Now, keep in mind, there are a lot of reasons that could explain this. Perhaps communities that fluoridate their water also have better schools or more resources. But one thing does seem to be clear. At levels typically found in U.S. tap water, fluoride did not appear to cause harm on cognitive function, while doses that were higher, twice as high, may be problematic. You know, it reminds me of this old adage in medicine, the dose makes the poison. Just about anything at too high a dose can eventually cause harm.